So you've got your new promotion all lined up and you are putting together all of your campaign assets. You've created your ad copy, your images, your videos, and you're gonna go big on this specific promotion. Let's just say you wanna spend $10,000 this month promoting your new product or service. You go inside of Facebook, you put all this together, you hit that launch button, and it tells you it's not gonna let you spend ten thousand dollars in this month why is this happening well i'm going to show you a couple different ways you can increase your account spending threshold all right before we get into the nitty gritty there's one thing i do want to specify when we talk about account threshold spending limits there's really two types there's a self-imposed limit where you yourself can go in and tell it hey i never want to spend more than 500 dollars in a month a thousand dollars in a month a hundred thousand dollars in a month right you get to tell it what what it is that you want your limit to be that's not what i'm talking about in this case what i'm actually talking about is a a meta imposed limit so let's say you do want to spend ten thousand dollars or whatever it might be but you keep on launching your campaigns and it's only letting you spend you know twenty dollars a day you know fifty dollars a day right you're not hitting your actual goal of being able to spend ten thousand dollars for the month so for the self-imposed that's really easy you just go into your billings and then you click on the account spending limits you tell it what you want to hit for a month and then you're good to go I've never really seen the need for this because you always tell Facebook at the campaign level or at the ad set level how much you want to be spending for your campaigns and so like if you don't want to spend more than five thousand dollars then just do the math and you set your budget correctly so that you spend five thousand dollars for the month so i'm not really sure what the benefit um of that is going back to the meta imposed spending threshold so this really happens in two scenarios either you are a brand new ad account and this is your very first time jumping into facebook ads or maybe you've been running facebook ads for a very very long time but you took a two month break a three month break a four month break whatever it is and you already get back into it and let's just say you were accustomed to spending you know fifty thousand dollars in any given month but then all of a sudden you're limited to ten thousand dollars this is actually something that happened to a client of mine she's always been spending a lot of money on her ads but she, she took a little break and then she came back and we started running campaigns and we wanted to spend $50,000, but it wasn't letting us. We were hitting this $10,000 limit. And so what we ended up having to do is create multiple ad accounts that all have this $10,000 limit. So I think we had like three or four different ad accounts running. It was absurd. But anyway, that's what happened. So those are the two scenarios. And that might be kind of annoying. And it is, I won't, I certainly won't deny that, but you do want to look at this from meta standpoint. And particularly if you're a brand new ad account, it makes a little bit less sense if you're a previous ad account that you're just coming back to but if you're a brand new ad account and you go in there and you tell Facebook okay I want to spend a bunch of money your credit card isn't getting billed you know for every single dollar you spend right you actually also get to have a little bit of say in this let's say you want to get billed every five hundred dollars a thousand dollars whatever it might be you can have that specified inside of your billing settings so if you're Facebook and you're a brand new ad account and you want to spend a ton of money, they want to make sure that, you know, when they charge your credit card, it's not going to get rejected or declined, right? They want to make sure that if your credit card gets billed for $10,000, they're going to get $10,000 back. And obviously if you're a brand new ad account and you're just starting, they're a little bit suspicious. And so they need to protect their own interests, even though they have plenty of money, but they need to protect their own interests and make sure that you are a legitimate person and you're not trying to essentially fraud or defraud Facebook out of their own ad dollars right there. So that's why they have these meta imposed limits because they just want to make sure that you are real. And so what ends up happening is that if you're a brand new ad account, it, it, I've seen it always change. There isn't like a set number, but I've seen ad accounts where it literally only lets you spend $3 a day. Other ad accounts, it'll be up to like $50 a day and anything in between. But it literally won't let you spend more than that until you have been running ads for a number of days and then it'll increase your limit a little bit and then you, you run it for a little bit longer and then you keep on getting these like small incremental increases until you have a until there's no limits set on your ad account it can take some time and if your promotion is very urgent this can be an issue so the advice I can give you to increase your spending threshold limits everything here I'm about to tell you 
can work. I am not guaranteeing you in any way, shape or form that these are actually going to increase your spending threshold limit. Everything can help. It's very similar to my CPM video I made a number of years ago where I talked about what you can do to lower your uh, CPM. If you haven't watched that video, it's one of my most watched videos. You can check it out right here. Everything in that video is still 100% relevant, but what I'm very specific in that video where I never say, hey, this is gonna guarantee a lower CPM. I say, you know, try these things and it might lower your CPM. So everything I'm about to tell you here is kind of the same thing where if you follow these, you might avoid having this very low meta imposed spending threshold limit. So first and foremost is to verify your domain. Now, for anyone who was running ads during the dawn of the iOS 14.5 privacy updates, probably remembers this stuff. This actually used to be a required step. It's no longer required anymore, but you have to go in and verify your domain. And until you did that, you couldn't run ads, but they got rid of that rule, I don't know, maybe like a year ago, perhaps a little bit longer. So even though it's not required anymore, it's still a good step because it's one indication to Meta that you are a legitimate business and you have a legitimate website. It's very easy for someone to set up a fake website and stuff like that and run ads to that. But if you go through the verification process, it's very unlikely that you would go through that hurdle if you're just trying to kind of cheat Meta out of their money. The next step is that you want to fill in your business info. So inside of your business manager and then inside of your business settings, right? There's a section where you can give Facebook slash Meta all of your information as a business, right? Your legal entity name, your address, your business phone number, and 99.9% .9 of people leave this blank because you know it's not technically required or necessary in any way, shape, or form. However, it is going to send a signal to Meta that you are a real and legitimate business. So the more information that you can give them, you're verifying your domain, now you're feeding them all your business information. So those are two indications that they have now that you are a legitimate business. Business. And then a third one on top of that is that once you have all your business information in there, you can then get your business verified. So there's two things you can get verified here. You can get your domain verified and then you can get your business verified. So if you do both those verification process, again, huge green signals, positive green signals that you are a legitimate business to Meta and perhaps they will just completely get rid of the Meta imposed spending limit or even if they still have a limit on you, they'll make it a little bit higher than they do for most other new businesses. And then the final recommendation, and honestly, I will say this is my least favorite one, and I, I really don't recommend it unless you're very desperate to increase your spending limit right now. Um, and that's actually getting meta verified. Now, if you don't know what meta verification is, I have a whole video right here that goes over what that process is. But the reason this is my least favorite um, is because you have to pay for this. So everything I talked about the, before, getting your domain verified, feeding your business information, getting your business verified, all that's free. It just takes up your time. But being meta verified, you do have to pay them a monthly fee and that changes a little bit whether you're just trying to get verified on the Facebook or Instagram side and whether you do it from mobile or desktop. Again, I break it down all in my video. So go ahead and check that out. It's gonna be you know roughly $12, $14 a month. Now, again, if you're very desperate, you could go through the verification process and you submit your ID. Again, they're just trying to make sure that you are who you really are saying you are. And so it's a little bit of a process, but once you get that verification and you're giving them money each and every single month, it does open up some perks and some avenues and some reps that you can actually reach out to that you don't have access to when you're not meta verified. But again, you're already giving meta so much of our money. That's why this is my least favorite one. So I would avoid it unless you're really, really desperate to increase your spend threshold ASAP. So hopefully these tips made sense and they can give you a little bit of a guide on how to increase your spending threshold if you find yourself stuck in this meta imposed jail but as always if you have any questions about anything i went over today just let me know in the comments below thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time